Father Christmas was fast asleep in his house at the North Pole. Suddenly his alarm clock rang and he woke up with a jump. Hmm, blooming Christmas here again. He got up and went downstairs to have a wash and put the kettle on. Mm, a good pot of tea. Just what I need. Before cooking his own breakfast, he fed the dog and the cat. <coughs> then he fried his eggs and bacon. And sat down to eat while he read the newspaper. After breakfast, he filled his thermos flask with coffee, for he had a long night's work ahead. Then he went out to get the sleigh out of the shed. Work, 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 nothing but work. His next job was to fill the sleigh with presents for all the children he would visit that night. Last of all, he brought the reindeer out of their stable. Keep still, you silly dears, while I harness you to the sleigh. Then they were ready to go. So Father Christmas put on his big red coat, packed his thermos flask and his sandwiches into a bag, and spoke to his two pets. Goodbye, cat. Goodbye, dog. <coughs> Father Christmas got into the sleigh and they started off into the dark, cold night. Giddy up, you dears, giddy up. The wind was howling. Rain now, what next? Then there was thunder and lightning. Eventually, he arrived at the first house and started to climb down the chimney. Blooming chimneys, always too narrow. He went down and down and landed in the fireplace. Then he crept into the bedroom and left two presents for the little boy and little girl who lived in the house. He did the same at all the other houses in the street. Then he stopped to eat his sandwiches and give the reindeer their supper. Off they went again to leave presents for all the other children. By this time it was one o'clock and he had reached the igloos where the Eskimos live. <laughs> no blooming chimneys anyway. Next he visited a caravan. How do I get into this thing? At 25 minutes to 5, he met the milkman. Still at it, mate. Nearly done. At last his work was done and his sack was empty. Father Christmas started his long journey home to the North Pole.
Oh dears. Hurrah. Home again. After he had put the reindeer to bed, he went in to prepare his Christmas dinner. While his turkey was cooking in the oven, Father Christmas had a shower. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn king Then he sat down to his Christmas meal with great enjoyment. Lovely grub! After dinner, he felt so tired he made his cocoa and went straight upstairs to bed. That's another busy day over. Happy blooming Christmas to you too.